Hello everyone, and welcome back to Parkitect. Right, we're speedy McGeeing through everything because we're saving up money for a new roller coaster, steel coaster, that we uh, unlocked with getting our 400 park tickets. I hope we can finish everything by year two, but I just don't know. We're not getting a lot of new people. Okay, we're, we're over 4,000. We're getting to the point where we can build the coaster. Something like that. There we go. We're back in our money issues again. Loving it. There we go. Open it for business. So hopefully that'll bring in some more people. Um, we can run a campaign too. Maybe that's something we should consider. Um, so let's do a park ad. That's too expensive. Let's do an attraction ad for one month on the radio for the steel coaster. Let's do it. It's new. Everyone should know about it. You definitely want to advertise what you're bringing that's new when you're in the entertainment industry. Stop littering! I see lit- oh, okay, good, the janitor was right there. But I saw litter, and you guys are ruining your own experience when you litter everywhere. Just saying. Okay, we want benches and we want trash cans. We have plenty of janitors! We have three for a tiny little park! Really not even that big. There we go. So clearly these guests want to be able to see two trash cans from any place they're standing in the park. Like with corners and whatnot, that's just difficult. Alright, but we're starting to make the money back. Perhaps we should pay off our debt, or at least start to. I'll repay 500 of it. We borrowed three grand. It's not nothing, but this is helping our increased uh, interest here. People are loving the steel coaster. It's only medium intensity, but you know, people like it. All right. I also think we build here. I want to connect all this up, but I don't want to destroy my trash can while I do it. Alright, 93% effectiveness. Yours is broken, right? Yeah. Okay, I didn't break you by putting a road next to you. I guess that's a silly question. I just broke. You're just broken, right? That's not what you want out of a park attraction. You n it's annoying when rides break down. I mean, I understand it. But, like, if you've been to an amusement park, chances are you've heard about a ride breaking down or just being broken down, like, all day. Sometimes they fix them the same day. Okay, we're going to have an increase in visitors for a time. I am all for that. Let's pay back some more of this. Getting our monthly fee down. We could still do the paddle boats. They are never a huge money bringer, but maybe they bring enough money to be considered worthwhile. Never actually extends in the direction I expect it to. Okay, wipeouts available now. Great. I hate how many trees we've gotten rid of. But we'll just do something like that. No one's gonna wanna go on it in a thunderstorm though, that much is for certain. 
But at least, hey, people bought some umbrellas. We've had that store there forever. Now people are finally utilizing it. Oh, people don't like how much they have to spend. Okay, I'll lower it a little. It's not a good deal. I, I hear ya. I'm listening to you. So now that it's not raining, all of our rides should be doing well again. Um, okay, trash again, apparently. Fraser Falls is a good deal, huh? Times 22. I'm sorry, guys. I would l I want it to remain just a good deal, but I have to make the money to hire the janitors you guys want. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Okay, we're at 650 out of 800. We're in January year two, so we gotta do something. Maybe it's time to come down off hyper speed for a second. Hyper speed can, uh... Oh, we just don't have the money. Oof. I didn't even realize that. I'm so used to us having money in these situations. But I'm assuming our overall rating is not at all... Yeah, we're, we're not in danger. We have over 10% above what we need. So, vandalism's bad. Where's the next toilet? We can definitely make another toilet. I'm gonna guess that's affecting decor negatively. Um, all the vandalism and trash is definitely, but... I don't actually know. It says it's a source of bad. Um... Of like bad uh, rating of decor, but I haven't seen any proof of that. I mean, we also had a janitor come through here, but like stuff's vandalized and okay, all the vandals are gone. So now the mechanic should be able to hopefully slowly rebuild everything. So I'd like to get Wipeout built. Actually, what's its intensity rating? Medium. So that's not that bad. Medium nausea, too, though, for a low excitement payout. I don't know how worth it that is. Do you think it's worth it, guys? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Not a fan of not knowing, that's for sure. So maybe to bring in more people, we, we run another campaign. Um, so park advertisements, but we can't afford that. Uh, what about billboards? Like, let's do it for, uh, just broke down. This one. Like, doesn't want to let me pick this one. Okay, weird. I just can't pick one? Why not? Okay. Oh, maybe it was picking it. Yeah, it was. Okay, I'm done. Go ahead and get that started. Um, and pay back 500 more of that as well. In fact, can we do a second one? Maybe not billboards, but social media for... It's still broken. There we go. Go for it. Bring in the people, and therefore the money. Hopefully it'll work well. 
All I see is one person leaving. <laughs> All I see is a lot of people leaving. I want people to come in. Luckily we don't need 800 people in the park. But we do need 800 total tickets sold, and we're only at 680. Um, so I don't know how well this is working. Look at these guys. Okay, I was like, come on guys, don't just ram into each other with boats. Okay, people are enjoying it though. Okay, paddle boats is taking forever. I could lower the amount of time that people are allowed to have on it. There. You get less time so that people will move through it more quickly. Alright, we're s Still not making any money. I mean, no, sorry, we are making money. I don't know what that was about. We're not increasing our guest count. No one's caring about these campaigns that I'm running. I am not a fan of this. Are these raids just too old? Effectiveness 70%. Like, maybe we really do need to run it on new and improved rides. How many have we? 73%, yeah. We've gained two more total guests. That's not acceptable. What are you guys working on now? Top spin. Maybe we should wait for that wipeout. I don't like the low excitement. Who wants high intensity? I guess it's not high, it's medium, but still. And low excitement. I, I care more about the excitement than the intensity of my rides. I mean, I definitely... I'm not a fan of hugely intense rides, but... I like looking forward to the rides I'm gonna go on. Call me crazy, I know. It's weird. It's lost six bucks, I have no idea how. But I got the little thing that says I did. Okay, our guest number is kind of holding steady-ish. Where can I get something to drink around here? We have bubble tea! Enjoy it! Bumper cars will have an increase in people for a time. We're almost to 700. Oof. Now I'm thinking we should just build a new roller coaster as soon as we can afford it. Or maybe even take out more loans so that we can afford it. Just to try and get this done in time. I'm getting worried, guys. I don't know if there's a flat ride, oh. That. Um, wild mouse is not really what I'm looking for, I don't think. Top spin's available now, thank you. Okay. So see, all of that's kind of outside of what I was hoping for. We do need to bring in the people. So you know what? We, we gotta bring them in. So let's just do it. Go. There. It's already May. Didn't like not getting all the optional ones before. So great. Now no one's gonna wanna even go on this. So let's do it for three months for manic minecarts. Bring in the people. I mean people are already lined up for it. Granted our queue's really short, so I don't know if that was the best idea. On my part, a uh, top spin. Hi, nausea. Hi, nausea. For low excitement. Medium nausea. I don't want nausea. No 
nobody wants nausea. I mean, if they're sane, you shouldn't want nausea. Okay, people want to be able to get something to drink. We only need 70 more people. Come on. Come on, everybody. Get in here. Show us that you love us. We're a great park, honest. Or at least we like to think we are. It's like, I want to build another ride. New rides bring in new people, but I don't want high nausea for low excitement. But fine, I'll get high nausea for low excitement. In the hopes that people will just <laughs> want to ride this so much that they will come to my park when they weren't going to come before. You, you get flyers for one month for being new and that's all. Okay, we're at six months out. Okay, we can do it. We need ten more people. We need eight. We're having any second now. Oh, look at this. We got so many people coming in. We're all good. Alright. Just three weeks of uh, staying at our... Um, ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba our happiness rating. Or sorry, overall rating. And we're now considerably above it. Luckily, we can't drop beneath 800 total tickets sold. We don't have 800 people in the park. That's not a requirement. Imagine if you could. Like, like if you need 800 people, you could easily fall back below it. But, like, someone got so angry. They were like, I'm taking my ticket back. Or I'm giving it back to you. You didn't sell this one. That's how mad I am. You will not reach your goal. That would make me very sad. But I think we're going to finish... Coral Caldera here in one more week. People are enjoying it. People are loving it. Uh, decreased interest in theme parks. It's a good thing we did this now and got all of the the stuff. You know what? There we go. We're out of debt. Because you should always try and end out of debt. Debt is, is not your friend in any way, shape, or form. I've never heard of debt being your friend. So get out of debt, finish your park, and you can leave it. You know, we will hire a manager, and we'll let them take over, and we'll get to move on to entrepreneuring somewhere else, and we know that everything here will be A-OK -okay on its own. All right. Here's our confetti, guys. The confetti we have earned for a job. Well done. If we go ahead and let's save this just in case. You can continue your parks, um, but let's just go ahead and quit out of here. And let's see where it's going to take us next, guys. So we finished Coral Caldera. Mystic Desert. So we've got Mystic Oasis. 400 gas, happiness 75. By March of year two. Um, and Nova Labs. So we have a new choice that we're going to start in the next episode. I don't know. I'm thinking the Oasis first. We're going to do them both because I'm still having a grand time with this game. I'm really enjoying it. Um, even though I know it's, it can get a little tiring starting over parks so much, but we had that one really long park, so I'm enjoying the kind of turnover that we're getting now. And I hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'm the Purple Peggy Sis, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye